Okay, just a brief comment on Javante Tank Davis. Now, I held my peace until everything has settled down. When I first heard of what happened, my first thought was I knew something was going to happen. As soon as he departed from Florida, he became an independent. I knew that something was going to happen. Did not know what it was, but I knew something was coming. Now, Tank Davis alleges that somebody offered his baby mama $50,000 for her to press charge. You'd be surprised at the number of enemies that you have sitting in the cut waiting for opportunity to destroy you. We're living in very perilous times, dangerous times. We're living in times, man, where your enemy is having free reign over you because we're now in a demonic society. This society is evil. Everything has flipped around and you had so many people sympathizing with his baby mama. He automatically became the bad guy, the villain, although no one knew what really happened. Now, when he released those photos, because she called 911 and played the Karen role, she did not expect him to release photos and video. And now she's talking about that she values her private life, that she didn't want things to go public. Well, if you didn't want things to go public, why did you call 911 in the first place? Knowing that as soon as you make a call to 911, they know exactly where you are. And sometimes people call 911, hang up, 911 will call back. If they don't get an answer, a police is dispatched to that place. So she's now talking about, we just want our private and we want to try to work things out. No, listen, Tank Davis, men that experience this, when you have a female, doesn't matter if it's your wife, your baby mama, if she, knowing how things are today with so-called black males, and she called the police on you and played that Karen role, saying that you're trying to harm her and your child, that's a female that you don't need to be around. You need to get her out of your house as soon as possible. Police escort her out. And when it comes to your child, try to learn how to co-parent with her. But don't allow her in your crib. When he got out of jail, he came back and she had put feces on his toothbrush. That's someone you can't trust. You can't sleep around her peacefully. I would not advise him to eat anything that she put down for him. Don't eat anything that she prepared for him because this is the type of female that would do you harm. This is the type of female that would set him up to get robbed or murdered and then play that victim role, that damsel in distress, and talk about how much she loved him and cared for him, and now she's got to raise that child by herself, and then she gets sympathy from the public. She didn't expect him to release video. She spat in his face. He's got photos where she spat in his face. Globs of spit on his face. The apartment, his, his, his home was tore up, glass all over the place. His clothes ripped off of him. And you saw her calmly walking away with the baby in her arm, but she had just got done calling 911 saying that he was trying to kill her. She played the Karen role. Brothers, you have black females that talk about black men that date outside of his race. And they talk about how the white females are Karens. The biggest Karens are black females because there are black females that will call the police on you. And I have a saying, I told my sons, I said, listen, any female, if you 
Never put your hands on a woman and she calls the police and say that you harmed her or that you hurt her in any kind of way and she's lying on you, you need to kick her to the curb with the quickness. You don't need her around you because she's dangerous to you. See, so Giovanni, you need to get that chick out of your, out of your home. There's no, I would never, after she did what she did, there's no way I'd want to try to work things out with her. There's no way. As a matter of fact, she should be arrested for reporting a false claim. And you have a lot of females that do that because they know they can get away with that. They call and they report these guys and say these guys harmed her, did harm to them. And then the guy ended up losing his livelihood, his life sometimes, and even his freedom. And she gets away with lying. So now that it came public, now that he released those photos and that video that showed that she lied. She had no other choice but to come out and say, he didn't harm me. He didn't harm my child. I just said that. And females feel they can do that to guys and get away with it. And guys are supposed to just sit there and take it, be punching bags. See, these laws have to change. See, they have to change because you got females that talk about how they want to be equal with man and they want things to be equal and we want equal rights. But yet, you don't want those same rights for men. You want your cake and eat it too. That female cannot be trusted. Javante need to get her out of his crib. Put her out. Have her police escorted out. And then just go through the courts, pay the child support, and leave her alone. She is not worth having. She's problems. Because if she can get away with that, if, if Javante did not release the photos and the videos, she would have gotten away with that. And she would have tried to, uh, uh, file a lawsuit against him to get paid. Now, according to Tank, he was saying that she was upset because he did not give her his truck. And I believe him. I believe him. She got upset because he would not give up his truck. That's what he said. So I would get rid of her. I would get rid of her. She's trouble. She's trouble. She was trouble yesterday and she's going to be trouble tomorrow. If she can put herself to lie on you and if she, if she had gotten away with that, if you didn't have those photos or that video, you think she would have came and made a public apology and admitted that she lied? No, she would not have done that. She would not have admitted that she lied if he didn't have those photos and that video. So Tank need to get rid of her. You need to get that chick out of your home. That's what I said. Until next time, I'm fearless.